Welcome back one and all to the Climb of the Phoenix Towers. This is Wolf of Holland. And it's gonna be fun. You know it will. Floor 17. Left door. Left door, thank you. Floor 18. Left side. I like the ones where you don't have to battle. 19, right door. Oh, 19, only uh, 10 more to go. Oh, magic pots again. Whoa, 20,000 gil. Good place to really use. If you're really low leveled, use the uh, coin toss ability to get rid of those status enemies quickly. Got a Phoenix down. This one's easy, just take the stairs. Remember how I was making fun of, uh, what are we at, 22? Remember how I was making fun of having so many goddamn elixirs in this game? Well, it looks like I was falling a bit short now. I think I have five elixirs left and one more pot to go. Also, I got running shoes from that battle. There we go. Uh, left over. Right door. Magic pot room, but first, I am really feeling the burn here. Really feeling the burn. She's also a master of that. Get some summon going. Jared is always good. Ether. Now, if you're short on elixirs, the sand creature that's in the desert there will actually give you has a random. Ch they're really difficult, but they'll they have a random chance of dropping elixirs. So, if you get in any trouble, just go for them. And they got a wall of it. Just barely had enough, and we got an Aves Killer, which isn't that strong of a bow. It's a pretty good bow, but not that good. Only one more to go. Summoner. And she's one. Summoner's got one of the best, uh, one of the best abilities uh, when it gets to its max, which is Conjurer or Call. It will randomly call without using MP a random summon, so you can get Bahamut for free. Uh, where am I? Twenty-six. Right. And now Lena's got mastered all her jobs. So she can go to normal. Uh, Conjurer. Randomly call an Esper without it using any MP. Wicked. Uh, well, I'll figure out her equipment crap later. Uh, 27? Right path. Yeah, I'm using a cheat. Right. I think that's it for the doors you have to fight. And then center door. Okay, one last door you have to fight. Yeah, I used a guide. Hey! It's the uh, dragon. Now, I can't remember what what happened to the one in Battle Castle. Is it still there? I think so. It was last time I checked. Sweet. What's it gonna do? It's going to turn the area red? Oh. Uh. Just like Slydra, the uh, the dragon gives it light it gives its life for us one last time. Now you're going to get a flashback here with a choice. 
Yeah. Flashback's gonna come it up now, I think? Shortly? Sometime? This could be a flashback to when Lena's mother passed away. Or about to pass away. Oh crap. Tongue of a dragon. I think I know where this is going. And that was pretty quick. That's about how fast you run if in the uh, PSX version if you have the dash ability on it. You go like really fast. So don't hit anything here. So that's the last dragon. Am I going to cut out its tongue? No, this is what you want to say. No, say no to cutting out the dragon's tongue. You cannot sacrifice the dragon for your mother. She wouldn't want that. And we get the final Esper. The Hiryu has transferred into Phoenix. We have obtained the Phoenix. And I believe what that will do is that will hurt, cause flame damage to all opponents, as well as cast life one or two, I can't remember. And that's your reward for coming up here. Pretty damn good reward. As well as with all the AVP that's been floating around. So let us save and get out of here. So that's all we have to do. I think that pretty much makes it all for the rest of the game. Or well, other than the final area, that's all the side quests. So we'll head back to get our ship. Down by Mirage Tower. Not Mirage Tower, sorry, Mirage Village. Mirage Tower is in a different game. A lot of Mirages. It should be Crescent. Now I shall stop off at Crescent for a sec. I can't. I'll get my ship and we'll stop off there. I'm gonna rest up and hopefully be all set to go. Here, Mr. Uh, flying Device. There we go. We'll stop off here and just take a rest one final time. I believe I've gotten everything. Now, I'm not sure. Uh, I can't remember if you go back to the... Uh, if you go back to the Pirate Village, I don't know if you can see Boku's kids or not. I'll have to look that up for the next episode. Or I'll append it to this one, we'll see. Depends on if it happens or not. But I think we're ready to head to the International Rift. I think we've done everything. Get my way, old man. I think you can buy elixirs too, or ethers. You might want to buy some of those. Alright, so I think we're all ready to go. So once you're ready, head to Tycoon and head straight to the black hole. You'll get sucked in. You can do this at any point when you get the airship, so... It's the end zone, or the X zone, depending on what game you're playing. And here we are in one of my favoriteest areas in the entire game. I love these areas. It's one of the best final areas in the game, in my opinion. Now watch out there. There are a lot of strong enemies, like this guy, which you can meet up with in the uh, desert by Phoenix Tower there. Landcrawler. So these are the guys you can win elixirs from. So if you find yourself short on elixirs, try... Uh, 
Try fighting a couple of these guys, of course, unless they kill you. They hit hard, they use Malstorm a lot. Then use Malstorm on your whole party. And they hit pretty hard, as you can see. These things are real annoying. And they're very difficult to run from. There we go. So hopefully by the next episode everybody will have all their jobs and I'll try to figure out what other jobs I'm going to have them do. I haven't decided if I'm going to like learn more jobs to extent for the final or just simply stick with the, all the jobs I've learned. We'll see. Let's try Conjure. Big wave! Ah, here's Leviathans. And that costs no NP to use. Damn. Now I think the Brawl abilities automatically is another one that's automatically, holy crap, equipped when you uh, when you go to the bear status, so you don't have to put that in. Any, like I said, any support abilities, like ones without the exclamation marks, you do not have to put in any of your, uh, in any of your, uh, status windows there. You don't have to use it as one of your commands because it's automatic. This first place isn't very long. It's just annoying. Because you have to go through enemies. And we saw one of these before. These are the guys that cast Quake and can be very annoying. Mega Flare or Latch On. That's right, you take him out. Gildas! Holy crap, that was a lot. Alright. Should be coming close to the end here. Right down here. Let's head through the door. Oh, crap. We let them lose. Crap, you know, if we didn't touch it, it wouldn't be a problem. Ugh. Yeah, so we let them loose. Here we are in the next area. We'll check it in the next episode. Uh, I don't think anybody's learned anything different. Uh, no. Nothing for him. Revive. You can automatically revive party members without using Phoenix Downs. That's the one you got from the mastering the uh, chemist. Conjure, I already just showed you. Combined is mix where you can combine uh, different stuff to like different items to get different magic abilities. Um, nothing different. The X fight will uh, attack four times in a row. It's a good one to have on melee characters. And I don't think Ferris has learned anything. No, not really. Other than plus HP. Anyways, I'm going to end there for today, folks. Thank you for joining me, and in the next episode, we'll continue on in the final area of the game. Bye now.